family here and I'm going to show you a few things in the nursery and then I have a box opening. Um, my voice is a little bit off. I've had a cold for a week. It started in my sinuses and now it's went into my chest. So I may even start coughing throughout the video, but we'll get through it. We always do. Let me, and I always got to fix the camera, I swear. One of these days I'm going to get something to hold the camera. Alright, so the first thing, um, what I'm working on, and what I'm going to work on this weekend is rooting. And I'm rooting this toddler's head, so it takes a while, and I'm trying to do as close to micro-rooting as possible. And so, I'll show you my progress. I'm very tickled with it. And there's the front of her head. And this is uh, pretty... I don't want to tell you wrong. This is Tibby on Bountiful Baby. You can find her. Isn't she beautiful? Look at this hair. Just a closer up look here. And give you an idea of how much hair is on here. You see it goes all the way down to here. So that much in her head is rooted. You can't really tell because of it laying flat. It, it could it looks like I've just made a strip, but it's not. It starts down here and I've worked my way up to there. So this is all that I have left, but that's a lot. It takes so long. I bet I have 20 hours into this because it just takes a long time and I'm not a very fast rooter. So especially when you're trying to do one at a time and the head is really soft. It's not so bad in the very front and it's not bad in the back, but on these sides it wants to go in. It's not as bad the further up you get, but especially right at the ear, I had a lot of difficulty. And you're supposed to put like a rice sock or something in there to give it some support. I definitely would recommend that um, because it was hard, but we managed. So just another. This is my project. I really want to get this done. I wish I could get the whole doll completed this weekend, but I'm just going to focus on getting this head done. And this is a custom baby, so it's already been sold, but I'm showing her off. She's a beautiful girl. Alright, so let's go ahead and we'll do the box opening I got from Bountiful Baby because I want to show you something. I ordered... Uh, Bountiful Babies glass beads. Uh, they were on sale. Now, typically, I use Harbor Freight's 80 grit sandblast glass beads. That's a big mouthful. They are the same color I'm going to show you. They're a little bit smaller and finer. Um, probably a little bit dusty, but they work really good. <coughs> I'm going to show you the difference. So let's just open this first box. Now, I'm pretty sure this isn't the beads, but we'll see what I ordered. Where's our water slides? Okay, so now let's see what we got. Becca, why is it? I swear, I could be sitting in my craft room for three hours rooting a baby's head. I'm doing a video. And would nobody come in and would nobody bother me? The moment I start talking to myself, I get interrupted. Rebecca, you need to be quiet. Okay, so in here, I have three custom orders, and that's what I ordered for. So we got bodies. We all know what bodies look like. I have... This is Rain. I have done Rain before. And he turned out really cute. Go to my um, Wilted Leaf Nursery on Facebook and you can see him. He's got a really cute little smile. <coughs> Excuse me. Now he's going to be a biracial baby. In fact, I should have two of these. But that's not who this person is. Oh boy. Hmm. This is Jocelyn. Jason? J 
J-A-C-E-L-Y-N. I, I have not showed you this baby before. It's supposed to be the same size as Rain, but I can tell you right now it looks a little bigger. Extreme amount of detail on that foot. That's pretty awesome. I like that. I'm liking the limbs. Look at that. That is really cool. That is a lot of detail. Huh. And then the hands. It says on here, Jake. I don't know if they had a Jake kit. Extreme. I have never seen that many wrinkles on a hand. Like, that's almost too much there. And look at all these wrinkles on the hand. That is crazy. And the fingernails are really pronounced. These are really well limbs. Okay. And then the head. Alright. This is supposed to be a biracial baby. This is supposed to be the person picked this out. She wanted twins. This is supposed to be the girl. This is supposed to be the boy. Okay, twins do not need to look alike. And twins don't have to be the exact same size. But even the shape, I don't think it's going to work out so great. I don't know what do you guys think. I'm not seeing it. Because this head is so much more rounded. But, hey, if this is what you want, this is what you're going to get. These are the ones that you want. So, but, I really like the limbs on this one. I'm not crazy about the face. But I love the limbs. I'll have to watch out for them if they ever just sell the limbs. Um, okay. I got a feeling I know what's in the other box, and I'm uh, missing some stuff. I ordered a lot of stuff. Oh, goodness. <laughs> what a waste of money. <laughs> they actually put a magnet in here showing off the Rose International Doll Show. Um, can't go. Sorry. But that's a lot of money to put in a magnet. I wish I had some metal to stick it on. Alright. So that's those two. And there's no shipping label in here. It just says box two of two. So hopefully everything got put in this other box. Oh, let's see. Now, one reason I really wanted to show this video is because... Do you see this right here? And you see all this dust? It says, received in damaged condition. And they have this stamped all over the box. Because, look at this. This is a big hole, and they apparently have put some tape over it. I've never gotten something from Bountiful Baby damaged. But this box is heavy, so I'm pretty sure my glass beads are in here, but there's holes on the other side. It's very dirty. Like, try not to show my name, like you're going to come visit me, but look, look. That is disgusting, people. Come on. I don't know. They had something very dirty on the back of some truck somewhere. I've never gotten one this filthy. I mean, guys, you see all my videos. I've never gotten one damaged. Never gotten one this dirty. So let's hope all the contents are safe and sound. Alright. We have a packing slip in here. <sighs> Packed by E and checked by A. Alright, so I spent $161 on this box. So, the other kit in here is another rain. That's for another order. And all of the plugs and neck rings that go with it. And I always order them in fives because they're a little bit cheaper. 
and then another body. Now, the person didn't particularly like Rain's limbs, and I'll show you why. This is going to be a long video, guys. I'm sorry. If you like long videos and you're excited. If you don't, you're probably FFing. All right. Rain's kit has closed hands. Fist. And sort of wiggly, but just kind of common feet. They wanted something with a little more detail and a little bit more movement. So I ordered Kimberly, which is a reborn lens, because I thought they would match up really well. And I have to say, I did a pretty damn good job because look at this. This is Rain, and this is Kimberly. So, yeah, look. It's like perfect. Perfect. But Kimberly, now I haven't seen Kimberly, but she's a real born, so she's supposed to have more detail. Much more detail. The wiggly toes. There's her other foot. Oh yeah, look at all those wrinkles. Wrinkles are what you want. If you're looking at a kit that you want to get reborn, like you're wanting someone's gonna do one for you. Look for one that has a lot of detail. A lot of these creases and wrinkles. Because, like, this one, to me, doesn't have wrinkles. It just has lines. You can't even hardly see. That's not a lot of detail in there. Compared to, you know, these. Alright, so here's the hands. So this one I liked because she has open hands and that's what they wanted. Open hands, so there's some movement. And this is going to match really well. Let's see, go like this. Look, can something come? Okay. Oh, these are Sugar's hands. I was thinking I had Kimberly. Oh, I must have liked Sugar's better. Bear with me, my throat's dry. Okay, I got some uh -huh. <coughs> thick medium and matte varnish. I was getting one of those. These I thought was fun. Now for the twins, um, I'm just doing a paint job on them, but I want to put in some goodies, you know. I do. I overdo it. I really do. They don't know this is coming. But I went ahead and got the Bountiful Baby bottles. And what's special about them is the hole at the nipple is supposed to be sealed shut. So you don't have to try to figure out how to do that. Aren't they cute? Look. You can't see them. Here they go. And they're just the little two ounce bottles. So they're really sweet. They got the little leads on them. They had them on sale. I've seen them cheaper though. But you should be able to, let's test them out. Why don't we? We should be able to put something in here. Like I'm going to put um, fabric softener in here. And it's going to look like milk. And then I'm going to seal it shut. But it shouldn't leak. There. I just put water in there. Nothing. Because there's no hole. <laughs> it looks like there should be one. Like, I don't know. You probably can't see. Yeah, you can kind of see. There's a little there. Like, someone needed to put a needle in there. Open that thing up. And you know, I think way back in the day. Maybe, I don't know, 20 years ago. Nipples didn't have holes in them. People put holes in them. Because I remember um, 17 years ago with my kids taking and putting three small holes in the top because you didn't have holes. And you would take a needle and you'd put three. That was like the classic thing, you put three. Comment below if, if anyone else remembers having to do that, that bottles did not have holes in them. Because then you can make it the flow however you need it to be. 
So these are really cute. I do recommend these. They're awful cute. Um, but they, they do have them on sale once in a while. I'm going to wait. <coughs> I'm so sorry. We're going to be doing sign language by the time this is over. I got so much I want to show you. Okay, so they had the beads on sale. Alright. Oh, we got more goodies in here. Oh, they put these on top. That wasn't so bright. Alright, I want to show you these. I ordered 10 pounds of glass beads. If that sounds like a lot to somebody, it's not. If you figure you want a doll to weigh about 5 pounds. So, this is enough for the twins. But I want you to see. This is Bountiful Baby's sand. I'm calling it sand. It's glass beads. It's a little bit bigger than what you get from Harbor Freight. And I'm going to show you the difference in my hand as soon as I get them down. Alright. So you can make a decision on which you want. These cost more. Not terribly a lot more. Especially if you get them on sale. But they do. Alright, let's see. I don't know how well my hand is a good example. I wish I had something of color. But, okay, we'll, we'll see how this works. Oh yeah, this way though. I just want to show you the difference. Okay, Bountiful Beads. That's them. Beads, sand, I'm going to keep saying everything. These are glass beads, and they're really small. They're not going to hurt you guys, even though it's glass. And you can actually feel with your hand that they're rounded, like you can roll them around in your hand. You know, they roll real easy. Now, Harbor Freights, you're going to see the difference in color. Like, um... Bountiful Babies is see-through, or almost see-through. You know glass is kind of like a silver. Harbor Freights is white. So, here is the difference. Hopefully this is coming out. There you go. Harbor Freights is smaller, like sand. There's your difference, if you ever wondered. Now, does it make a difference in the doll? Like, this literally feels like sand. That's why they put it in a sand blaster. But it's glass. Um, so you do got to be careful with it. You know, I always remind my kids, you can't play in this. This isn't sand. <coughs> I have used both. I do prefer Battleful Baby. It's feel. But... It doesn't make it better than Harbor Freights. Um, both are just fine. Harbor Freights is cheaper. Um, a lot of times you can get coupons and stuff when you go there and you get it in bulk. Uh, but some people might mistake it as sand and it's not. It's glass beads. I get the 80 grit. Oh my goodness. Um, but if someone prefers it and they want to pay a little bit extra, I'll put it in the doll if that's what they want. <coughs> but I know most people, they use the Harbor Freight. Okay, so the next thing that I got, if we can get through this, because I have so much to show you. I got a paintbrush. Forever needing paintbrushes. This is a number one, I think. Yeah, number one. Hopefully it's going to be a good one. I don't know. It's a little more rounded than I was wanting. But it was on sale too, so I gave it a try. I got these eyes for rain. One of the babies needed brown eyes. It's a bag within a bag within a bag. Oh my gosh, they have these individually bagged. These are the glass eyes. It's 
is pretty cool. Of course, it's showing really dark, and it's not that dark. It's kind of like a honey brown, which you can't really see. It's not picking it up. And then they also had their baby lashes on sale, so I thought I'd give them a try. I have not had any of these, and that's what they look like. Um, the dark ones on the bottom look a little too dark and a little too thick. The light blonde ones look really good. Um, the others, I think, are a little long. These, I think, are a little long. They'll just have to be trimmed. And these will have to be trimmed. These look really good. I would definitely suggest these. But we're going to try them out, see how well they do, how well they look. See how that goes. So that's my bountiful baby. Everything you see was $161. Reborning is not cheap, people. Don't ask someone for a $50 doll because it's not possible. Or if you do, don't expect to get a reborn. That's my quote for the day. So, goodies that I bought for these dolls. I don't typically show my shopping trips, but since we're doing a video, let's go with it. This is zero to three months. I have not planned. Well, I do have some outfits for the toddler, so we'll show that too. But I thought this was really cute. Little puppies with red hearts. And then it's got this little puppet for the baby. How cute is that? Um, $18 for that. Super cute. And then, of course, we have a baby blanket. Can y'all see what's on there? Probably not. It's like little bunnies. It's really soft. That's going to be for the toddler, I think. I may change my mind. I found these pacifiers. Um, they were $4.00. Um, trying to get into them. What I was intrigued by these is sometimes you get babies that have the open mouth, like they're crying or they're got that sucking motion, and you're always trying to find pacifiers to fit them. Look how small these are. I think these are going to be perfect for them because this is really small. Like normally. This is how big they are. Look at the difference. Or can you see the difference? Like, I don't know how to compare these so you can really see the difference. Um, but yeah, these, there we go. It's like a good, like this much, this back piece. You would completely cut that off. That's how much shorter these are. So I'm excited to try these. I think these are going to be perfect. And these are this brand. If you have a doll like that, you want to try it. So we'll see if those work out. <coughs> oh my gosh. I'm getting worse. Okay. For the clown doll. If you watch my other video, I'm still working on but I thought polka dots would be perfect for her. So there she's got a headband and some booties with the little polka dots. I thought they were really cute. And let's see. I have I got Rebecca something. I'm gonna put these in my car for when she's always wanting sunglasses because the sun is in her eyes. But for the toddler, I got her these. So hopefully they will fit. Let's find out. If not, Rebecca will have two pairs of sunglasses. But I'm thinking they will fit. Take the price tag off of it. And the UV protection tag off of it. Okay. Oh, yes. There we go. 
so cute. We have to adjust them a little bit. That's going to be awesome. That's going to be a surprise. All right, cool. So with that, I got her this cool little pink. Well, they've unzipped it. Cool little pink top or pink purple. And it kind of looks like a jacket, but it's really soft. And then I got her this beautiful dress on sale, people. And this is Snow Pea brand. How adorable is that? That is so cute. I was so excited when I seen this. And of course, you're always looking for something that has the smaller neckline. So I thought that was perfect. All right, everyone, that's everything for this video. Hopefully it wasn't too awful long. I think we're getting close to the 30 minute mark, but lots of stuff to show you. And hopefully um, it maybe answered some questions that you had about the beads or whatnot. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, and you can leave a comment below. And until next time, guys, bye.